Hey guys, quick message. If you would be so kind as to comment and like, make sure you subscribe, make sure to uh, ring the bell for the notifications. Since I have a new channel, I have to make the YouTube algorithm gods happy, and that's the way to do it. Also, make sure to check your settings um, in case you wanted to get email notifications for when I update. I don't set up my page that way, but I know a lot of people do, so make sure to check your settings. Also, if you know somebody that has been through this, maybe you know somebody that they're just into family history and ancestry and all that, make sure to share. The more people that uh, I can get on the page and the more interaction that I can get, the happier that uh, the YouTube algorithm gods will be and then that way my page will show up more in searches and suggested playlists and stuff like that. Thanks guys! Hey y'all and welcome back to Tobacco Leaf Legacies. Today I am doing something a little bit different. Um, I'm actually not at my grandparents home but I'm still doing family stuff. And I'm going to show you here as I turn around so you can kind of see behind me. You see all those pictures? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I am at my parents' house, not my grandparents' house. And this is a photo project that I have been working on. Who I have been working on it for, gosh, I don't know, two, three years at this point. Now, granted, it, I haven't been able to work on it nonstop because I've had so much other stuff. So it's, you know, I come over here and I do a little bit at a time. And what I'm doing is a multitude of things. Um, my mom never got to put all her, you know, packs of pictures. Remember when you would take your film and go to the drugstore and, you know, you'd get your roll back and pack of photos. Well. She never got to put those uh, in photo albums, and I knew that that was something that she wanted to do. And after she passed, I decided that I would go ahead and do that. She purchased a bunch of photo albums, you know, blank ones, um, in preparation to be able to put all the pictures in it. And then she just never had a chance. So that's what I decided to do. Well, <laughs> with the way that I do things, if I'm going to do something, if I'm going to take the time, I'm going to do it right. That may mean that, you know, it may take me a little bit longer or it's kind of one of those, sometimes you have to make a bigger mess to clean up kinds of things. Well, so, enter my photo project. <laughs> so what it entailed was this. My grandmother also had pictures. So I said, okay, this is what we're doing. We're taking all the pictures, we're starting at the beginning, and we're going to put them all in order. Okay, I'm talking from the 30s and 40s, folks. <laughs> from 30s and 40s on up. So on the floor, I'll kind of back up a little bit. Yeah, all the stuff on the floor, I had a nice big arc <laughs> going from 30s and 40s and, you know, on up through into the 60s. And, you know, you'll see kind of on the bed how I've got all the different rows. Well, we started in the early 70s over there in the corner, and every pile is another year. So it's, it, it has been steps, I'll put it like that. Because first it was, okay, let's just get all the years in a pile. <laughs> Okay, so all the years were in a pile, and there, um, then I had to go through, and it was, okay, let's take each year, let's get the packs in order, and then let's start looking through the negatives, because if there's pictures missing, you know, maybe mom, um, if she had taken pictures with somebody else for somebody else, you know, somebody's birthday, she would have pulled those pictures out to give to them to make sure that, that those people had them. Um, so it's going through the negatives in each pack to make sure that I've got all the pictures. The majority of the time, 
all the pictures are there. Uh, there's some random ones, some negatives here and there that I would pull out when I saw that I was missing a picture, leave it in a little stack so then I could take it to um, a local place and have them redo the negative for me. Oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> I took old negatives in and I'm having them redone. Like I said, thankfully not too many. So everything, <laughs> I've already been through the older stuff, of course. There's a side project even with that, but we'll get to that in a minute. So all of this is done up into here. So I have done like all of this up here. I've gotten up here. So I only have like this little bit left to go. Thank goodness. Um, and I have just started. Let me flip this around real quick and go over here oh my goodness okay so this stack this goes back to the uh, very early 50s when my mom graduated and on through here and then into the mid 50s and then we get up here into the mid late 50s into the 60s okay we go all the way around here this is still 60s each year and then, like I said, 70s gets back on the bed. Um, the latest thing that I have done, because as I was going through these, I also found slides. Do your parents have a box of slides? Did your grandparents have a box of slides? Okay, I'm very old school, but even slides were before me. So that was kind of a new thing for me to have to, to deal with. So, that was another project, kind of side project to this one, that I literally just finished. I had stacks, and I'll show you here because I have a box of them, stacks of these, okay? And, oh no, they were not in order. <laughs> See? Oh no. Not in order. I wish they were boxes of slides. Okay, if you had slides, these will be familiar to you. So again, well, if we're gonna do this, we're gonna do it right. So I went through, oh, just closed that door. Went through all the slides, tried to get them in order as best I could, which if you've ever dealt with slides, if you look on them, there's little numbers. So kind of like negatives have little numbers, the backs of the slides do too. So that was kind of a fun match game uh, to try to match up like slides, look at them with a little magnifying glass up in the light, you know, trying to, to see what they were, <sighs> make sure they were, you know, in the right order, checking the numbers. Well, let me tell you what, that was, that was four or five days of going through a little box of slides. But then when I got that done, then it was like, okay, well, if I'm going through all these other pictures and if we're going to put them in albums, again, we're going to do this right. And so I went through all the slides and, um, and actually, I guess it's been a couple years. I, I had taken the slides to somebody for him to go through because um, you can't just take slides to, you know, your local Walgreens and have them process them. So I had found somebody that could scan each one. So I already had a di digital image of them. I, I just didn't have them in order. So once I got the negatives in order and then went through and separated them by year, then I was able to match them up with the photos that I had printed out from the slides. Are y'all keep, keeping up with all this? Because I, I know it's a little crazy, but... So, got the pictures. So now we come back over here because I had already started putting um, the, like, real early 60s photos in a photo album because I wanted to get this going and as soon as I started on those slides I just thought oh boy oh boy okay no I, I need to hold off on this because the slides I knew were late 50s into the 60s that was the common way that that people took pictures so I printed them out and I can now say that I have got all the photos <laughs> I've got all the slide photos printed everything's back in date order so I can who officially uh, start putting 
these dang photos and albums and moving on. Who? To say that that this has been one of the most time consuming things that, that I have ever done is an understatement. Um, but it is one of those things that if you're going to do it, pictures are very important. Putting things in order is very important. Um, there was my, my mom, bless her. She was very tight lipped. There was so much, uh, about her and about her life, especially during her first marriage. My mom was married twice. Um, there was so much that I didn't know. And there was so much that she never shared with me. She never told me. Um, I'm sure there were various reasons for that, but nonetheless, there is still like a whole a whole part of my mom that I never knew and going through these photos and going through them and going through them in order and kind of seeing her life in a sense unfold in these pictures it they tell a story they tell a story and that story when it comes to your family is so very important um especially in a situation like that with mom where I just didn't know, you know, so much uh, about her when she was younger and what she did. And so being able to put the photos in order and date order and, and kind of go through, I, I got to see her life. I got to see how things happen and how things unfolded and what she got to do and when. And, and that was really kind of neat. So if you are, you know, family person, a family historian person, getting things in order to tell the story, to tell the narrative of somebody's life is, is a big thing, very big thing. So that kind of brings me to the little side project that I had mentioned. Uh, I think all of you can, you know, tell by now that I am a big family nut person, family, you know, historian. And I'm very, very interested uh, in my ancestors, very interested. And so <clears throat> I've been doing a lot of reading, a lot of research about that. If I haven't already mentioned it uh, in a video, look up familysearch.org. It is, it's like ancestry.com, but free. <laughs> and there's all manner of documents, just, oh, just start with your grandparents or maybe great grandparents and, and kind of go from there because my, uh, on my dad's side, I had, uh, we'd had a cousin and an uncle that did uh, a lot of research there. So I already kind of knew about the family tree on dad's side. Mom's side was a complete mystery. I mean, I knew nothing and just hopping on this website and Starting there and looking up names, I mean, y'all, the whole, <laughs> that whole side of the family just exploded with information and it was fantastic. Fantastic. So look it up. Um, so the side project, if y'all, let's see, I'm going to turn this around for a second again. Um, bear with me here while I turn this over. I know you have seen old albums like this. Maybe your grandparents had something like that. Well, <clears throat> let me get back over here. So did my grandmother and she had a couple old albums. So as I was going through the older pictures and getting them in order, I kind of thought, you know, let me put the older pictures and I'm talking thirties, forties uh, photos back in those albums because in that time period, that's where they would have gone. And you know how they had the little uh, photo corners? I don't think I have a little pack of them here. Um, but you know, you'd put the photos, the corners around the photo corners. <laughs> Follow me here. And then you would glue the little corners down and that's how they put pictures in place in the albums. You didn't have the sticky pages that, you know, we have now. So I felt like it would make more sense to take those older photos, put them kind of back in the older books as they would have been uh, originally with the little corners and everything. I've got some, oh, I do have a pack. Yeah, I forgot that I had some of these, hold on. These, 
little corners. So kind of like stamps. You wet the back of the corner and you stick it down and there you go. Yep, so I forgot I have this here. So that's kind of the side project that I was doing with that. But then, yes, we still have kind of more projects within projects. As I was going through those photos, have you ever looked at your grandmother's photos? I mean, there are folks that you have no idea who they are. You probably know their family, but which family, you know, who knows? And if you're like me, your grandparents probably had a big family. Um, my, well, both my grandmother and grandfather had six, seven siblings. I mean, that was, you know, kind of normal back then. And again, coming back to the fact that I am the historian and very interested in family history, I wanted to know who these folks were. I knew that probably 90% of the photos were family on my grandmother's side. So, well, now what do we do? There is nobody for me to ask, you know, who is in these pictures. So I kind of started with my brother. I'm like, all right, let's just see who he remembers. Some he did, you know, most he didn't. Well then, okay, let's start with the kind of the next closest family. So I have a cousin, my mom's cousin technically, make my second cousin, I guess. Anyway, he was in his 70s. So I thought, hmm, he's probably a good one to ask. Always go to your older family members when you've got questions about this kind of stuff. Go to them and get information before they're gone. Let me tell you, so important. Um, so I, you know, scanned pictures, scanned pictures and sent a bunch to him and he helped, you know, he was able to answer some, of course, not all. And then that started another project because... <laughs> You know, I don't already have enough going on, right? I mean, it's enough to make your head spin. But I want to know family. If these are family, I want to know who they are. So I started contacting what I call extended family. Um, they're just people, I mean, they're family. They're my grandmother's family. They're just people that I didn't grow up with because, you know, as I was growing up, they were already older with kids and grandkids and everything themselves and you know how families kind of kind of they just they don't spend as much time together uh, as they did when they were younger we get busy we're too busy but. and so I started contacting family members that way I would and this is what I did so if if you possibly have <clears throat> excuse me um, something, a daunting task like this that maybe is before you. This is what I did. This was the easiest way that I could figure out how to do it. Um, I took the pictures and I copied them. Okay, so you can put three, four, five, six, whatever size they are. That way you get a bunch on one page, on one, you know, just regular piece of paper. And then that way I could have a lot more photos by having kind of multiple ones on this one sheet. And then what I would do is I would make copies, um, make copies of the papers, you know, of the printouts, scans, whatever you want to call it. And, um, and I had also put numbers on each photo. Okay, you can, I use Photoshop. I mean, I'm sure there's other programs to be able to do this, or you can just take a little marker when you get the papers, whatever, and put numbers. On each picture then I took and just I think Excel and I just you know did a little list so that way I could take the number pages I could take the photo pages with the little numbers on it and I could mail those to family that way it makes it real real easy for somebody to just look at number three and go oh that's aunt so-and-so and go to the page with the numbers beside number three and say that's aunt so-and-so uh, I included a self-addressed stamped envelope to make sure that, you know, if they wanted to mail back just that number page to me, they could stick it right in the envelope, put it right in the mailbox, gave them my phone number, gave them my email. And I've done this two different times now. The first time I sent out, 
I think it was about 20. The second time I sent out about 40. And what's interesting is I got more from the first batch, but that's another whole story. But I did have a handful of people that sent me an email and I did have a handful of people that called me uh, and I did have a bunch that mailed them back. And being able to be in contact, and especially in talk to the ones that called me, it was so wonderful to talk to family members that I, I had never talked to. And it was really kind of neat, especially to hear their memories of my mom and my grandparents and to learn things that I just had no idea uh, about. Like my grandmother, she could play piano by ear. Okay, that, that's kind of a cool thing. I didn't know that because when I was little, she had arthritis so bad she couldn't play. I've probably mentioned that in another video. Um, and just random things. They loved to play cards on Friday night. You know, um, my grandmother loved Rook. Um, they were religious, and so Rook apparently was kind of a, we'll call it a religious-friendly game of cards. And... Just, you know, some other random things like that, that it, it was really, really fun to learn. And it felt good to be able to connect um, with these other people. Just really, really good. So that's why I said, I encourage you, if you have any kind of project like that, you've got to do, do it that way. Make the copies, put the little numbers. It, it makes it so easy. Um, I've actually got a family member right now. In fact, it's kind of, she's one of the oldest ones really that's left. And I haven't heard from her yet in response to what I sent. And I'm gonna find a number and call her um, because, you know, if you don't get the information from the older folks when they're here, it, it's gone. It's gone because the next generation doesn't know what they know, just not at all. If I could have done this even just 10 years ago, there would have been a handful of people that were still here that, that I feel like would have been able to, to really give me some, some names and stuff that the, you know, the other ones haven't been able to. So, <clears throat> so anyway, so I just kind of wanted to share this part, um, because I've been sharing, you know, so much else, um, as far as the family, you know, stuff that I was doing, that even though this is not at my grandparents' house, um, it is still part of the family projects that I'm working on. Um, and I really, I really hope I can get this done this year because, I mean, I love organizing. I love going through pictures. I mean, I, I really do. It, it's, it's tedious, and I know it would drive other people crazy, but I do enjoy it. I do enjoy it. I do going through, like going through it and just getting it all together. But at the same time, oh my gosh, I, it'll just be nice when it's done. I will be very happy when it is done. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I kind of want to share with you in here. Um, I don't think so. I think that's about that's about it. I need to uh, I need to get back to going through the photos and getting stuff in albums. Um, so as I always like to remind you, time is precious, so precious. Carpe diem, seize the day. See you next time.